I see the line. I mean, this is the line. And so the line is way at the very end, somewhere down there. Exactly. But if they don't have my chocolate, If you want to do things here at Comic Con, you have to wait in line. You gotta wait in line. That's what I learned about Comic Con. And I haven't been here before, but. Uh, oh, this is your first time? It's my first time. San Diego Comic Con is the pure size and scope. It's the largest convention on the West Coast. Uh, you can find any fandom, any subject, no matter how small, you just have to know where to look. And uh, lots and lots of people dressing up and people enjoying you dressing up, taking pictures. It's, 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 it's great. How long have you been coming? Uh, 2003, first year, blew me away. Ever since. So what's changed in those years? Uh, in, since 2003, I've noticed the fall in costumers and cosplayers. The costumes have gotten probably better in quality, less in number, but uh, it's still fun. Uh, parking has been harder to find. No, most definitely. Thank you. Your tablet. Thank you very much. Oh, that was a great costume. <laughs> Damn awesome, it. I was awesome. Hey, back in your little cage. <laughs> so he actually came up with this idea. He did, yeah. Our son did. So, but you're okay with it. You're like, okay, you saw a series, so you're like. Well, we're the ones that got him to watch V, but we thought that coming here with V on would just make totally make a statement, and you can't believe, like I said, so many people. Oh my God, V! You know, I remember that show, and they love it. Wow. So, so they really love you when you I mean, pull out really, a mouse. Yeah. They really love you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then people bring up the mouse. Yeah. And, and then we go, yeah. wait, got yeah. a mouse right here. So your son actually got you into cosplay. So were you some? I know I talked to some parents and they're a little hesitant about it, but you guys jumped. I was. I was, you was a little bit. Yeah. You was a little hesitant. But, but it was they because they did it first, and he actually did. it started with the Star Wars outfit. Yeah, he made those too. Yeah. The and general. Then, and then really. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, it was really good. And so I was a little hesitant. And then actually, what it was was I saw that it was so much fun. It is. It is know, really fun. These guys fun. were you know being stopped to to have the picture taken. It was like being a celebrity. Yeah, you, know? you feel like you're a celebrity. So you felt so left, left out because yeah. you had to hold it back. I was, like, I was hoping back. Yeah, of course, because, yeah, exactly. We're dressing up for four. That's probably our fourth time is. Four times, so. And still, it's a, you know. Is it a big rush every time you come it to is. a con? It is. It is. Yeah. And then, then we tell the stories, like, one of our favorite was, uh, what's his name, Seth Green. Seth Green. We were down Seth on the Green. exhibit what? floor. What? Really? And he chased us down. Oh, my God, you guys, you guys, we're all over the show. And he's like, get my picture. Get, yeah, and he's I like, oh, my God, he's only, like, this yeah, tall. Really? really? He got in between us, and, oh, it was it was really cool. It was really cool. So, you've been coming here since 2005? Since 2005, yeah. Now, do you ever get used to it? Because it's been getting bigger and bigger every year, right? Um, no, not really. You, know, you, don't, you don't get used not, to it? Not used to the, not, never get used to you the never crowds, get used to this? but at the same time, you know, you'd miss it if the crowds weren't there. That is kind of true. It, I think, isn't that part is of the whole of the biggest, thing? Yeah, yeah, it really yeah. is. It really is, you know? I mean, as a general rule, I don't like crowds, but Comic-Con is somehow different. You got masks? You got masks. Here you go, buddy. Oh, here, keep the card because I'm going to I'm going to put the mask on. All right, here you go. I'm going to walk around with the camera like this. There you go. <laughs> this is basically about like cosplay here at Comic-Con. It's dying. It's dying? It's dying. What makes you say that? Well, because people cuckoo a lot of anime cosplayers and they're the only ones you notice that are still around aside from like Marvel and the buff hero characters. Yeah. But Things changing. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the where Comic Con is turning. They're more towards the uh, movies and like the Avengers, like the like comics, but the movie side of it. So superstars and stuff like that. Like I work at Target, and um, half the people I bring up online, they talk about just sitting in Ballroom H and Ballroom 20 all day and just watching movies. That's not what Comic Con is about. It's about the comics and the people and the artists and you know people don't spend the time for that anymore. It, no. I see a lot of cosplay, but it's not at a level that you see at an anime convention where people go like hardcore balls to the walls cosplay. Like there's a lot of more like casual stuff, store bought stuff that you can tell is like joke Halloween. Ones. So yeah, a lot of joke stuff. A lot so, more spandex. So in that regards, there's still a lot of cosplay, but it's not like 
a regular anime convention with that intense kind of cosplay atmosphere. The vibe is just very, very different. I feel comic conventions have a much older crowd okay. for the most part, and they're a bit more mature. You don't see people trying to glomp you or tackle you or yell at you and things like that. There's a level of maturity and respect that I think people have here that in anime conventions they don't. Okay. But in the same regards, I still like anime conventions because people are always so excited. They just don't know how to handle it. Probably. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot louder. Yeah. It's a lot louder. It's louder at anime conventions yeah, than it is here. Right. For sure. Everybody's kind of quiet. It's weird. Yeah. I kind of like it because I don't have to worry about someone running up to me and lumping me. And yeah. like potentially ruining your costume. Right. They don't have bound. They don't know what boundaries are. Don't do what I did. Don't wear this. It's hot, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> is it better out here at East? Yeah, it's very humid, so it's just moistening everything up instead. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to go back inside, back in dealer hall, where it gets ruined. But And always bring a spare change of clothes, just in case. You want to get out, yeah. So you're trapped in there, you can't do anything. I cannot do anything. The breath of the stuff that's here, a lot of non... Yeah. Comic or non sci fi or non fantasy shows mm -hmm. are here now, so it brings in all the plebs. Because Anime Expo was our very first anime con ever. Oh, okay. And we, because you only have, ever go to comic cons. Oh, really? It was a really, really big cross dressing scene. Like, it, it wasn't even like the ironic kind, they were serious. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's a, I mean, don't laugh. No, it's no, not, no, no, it's not no. a passing judgment thing, it's it's just we're, a, we're like, oh, oh wow, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's actually kind of refreshing to see all the people yeah. that were doing that. We're uh -huh. like, yeah. oh, wow. It was, it was pretty cool. And also, some of those dudes were pretty hot. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you about AX. Since this year was your first AX and yeah. you've been going to Comic Con for like seven years, yeah. what's the difference between uh, like a comic book convention and an anime convention? Well, at least between here and, and AX, there used to be a lot more cosplay at Comic Con a long time ago, but now that it's gotten so broad, there's less. Yeah. Just because there's more of the public in here. But like in at AX, like every other person was dressed up. Yeah. Which was really fun. It was a lot of fun for so us. So here, it's. I don't want to say it's not as fun, but it's, it's different. It's a different fun. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. different. It's swag fun. So your husband went and got all this today. Plus more. Plus more. Yeah. So you're stationed out here to just I'm watch stuff watch while it. they're inside. No, they went to the post office. Oh, they went to the post office? The first time I was here, uh, the size of the convention was until Hall D. That was it? That was it. And half of it was Artist Alley. Okay, well, it's changed a lot since then. Our Sally is like, well, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's there. Nothing, it's yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's it's that and just the amount of people that come here. So what do you come here for now? Because it's not the same as it was in '97. So just like the the, the atmosphere, the, the the just coming here, man. I was hoping to see like Italian cosplayers, but I haven't seen any. It makes me sad. I mean, last year there was quite a lot, but this year I don't see many. I put in retirement for a while. Yeah, they might be store bought, they might be anything, but it's somebody dressing up and, you know, it's somebody dressing up and joining a group of people dressing up. It's it's tons of fun. Being We're a different character. All together. Yeah. It brings you nice. Being the character to me is really important because uh, I like to be the character. I know some cosplayers just kind of like get in the costume, and, but I like to like play a lot. I okay. basically thing I'll ask is like, so it, there used to be better squags back then? Um, it's, you know what, it's not that, you know, I could argue that there were better, there was just more. Um, there, there used to be a, a different quality, different level. So if, if you went to panels and things like that, you get like hats or shirts or sometimes like a signature type thing. It was under your seat or something. It was a real surprise to go to a panel. And now when they give you things, sort of like you show up and they give you a sticker or something and you've waited in line oh, for oh okay you've waited in line for four hours and then they have you wait in another line <laughs> 
to get to pick up swag and then it's like a, a sticker or something. Which I mean, I kind of understand, but at the same time, it's right around 2008 when the economy tanked. Yeah. It's like when all that stuff just disappeared and it uh, hasn't come back. Uh, hasn't come back. I dressed as a TARDIS at WonderCon and I saw them. They were taking photos and I was like, oh my gosh, you guys, right? We're in the same costume. This is great. Well, and we all like immediately clicked. And I'm like, do you mind if I hang out with you? <laughs> I really want to hang out with you. And so we ended up being the fleet of TARDIS and that, that people were taking photos of. And now like uh, I found out Hannah actually works with me. Like we end up working in the same place. Let's go! <laughs> so, um, and we just love the same thing. And now, like, I will spend my time with them and we'll just go and do what we want to do. Um, and it's good because I avoid spending money this way. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> because I'm so busy taking photos and just being with the group. But that's, that's what it is about for me. I'm here for them. Because we're all together and we get to have fun together. So it's like meeting up with your friends in one place and that's what's great. <laughs> Signed by the, by the voice actor. That's right. Check it out. He wrote, you stole my jacket. Barnaby Barnes oh, Jr. By Yuri. That's right. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, I'm still working on it, but no one really knows Tiger and Bunny, but I think it's going to get big. It's, it's a really good anime, and uh, it has robots, and everybody loves robots, right? talk about San Diego Comic-Con and cosplaying. So how is the scene here at San Diego Comic-Con? Oh, oh, it's not as good as AX, but it's actually, we've seen a lot of really good stuff so far. Oh, yes. I'm very grateful that the only way I am able to get a ticket is I'm a booth babe. I work for General Giant, and then there's another comic booth that I work for, and then I, I get to know a lot of comic vendors who tell me, hey, if you need a badge, just come work our table for a couple hours and we'll get you in. So that's pretty much the only way I'm able to get in now, because buying a ticket, forget it. Wow. Now, four years ago when you first started, was it easier to get tickets? I got it like two months before the con. I had to wait till I got time off work. Right. And then I was like, okay, I can go. So I just got my ticket. It was no problem. I never thought it would get to the, where it is now. I was like, what? I've seen like a lot of really nice cosplays this year. I've seen a lot of Loki cosplays. Definitely. I've seen a lot of Spider-Man cosplays. Definitely. It's really nice. And, and now I'm seeing more My Little Pony, and I like that too. I noticed that more people are starting to get into it. I like that. I, I like that people want to dress up. So how's Comic Con for you so far? Very tiresome it is. Really? So can you survive four days of this? Maybe I can. With the force I know. <laughs> when do you think it started getting to that point when it became super, super huge? Um, last, oh, no. last, well, yeah, at first it was like, came. yeah, once yeah. Twilight came to the con, yeah. it just kind of exploded and then all the, I don't know, all the big movies are just like, oh, they hey, knew they could do, do it, so they decided, oh, everybody else to decide. They, they figured, hey, if Twilight gets this much attention, let's try our movies. And slowly the cosplayers have been dying down. It's sad. Wow, so yeah. there was more before, years before? Oh, yeah. yeah. There was, oh, yeah. You could not be up here without seeing at least 20 Naruto's or 20 Ichigo's. Like, it, now it's hard. Just, yeah, it's yeah. definitely died down. Wow, so there's not as much photo shoots or no? Not that many gatherings either. No, there's like little to no gatherings here anymore. You'll see a lot of homesick though. I've seen a lot of homesick today. <laughs> and My Little Ponies. Oh, uh, yeah, and My Little Ponies. ponies. Yeah. Um, just kind of the general attitude about cosplay and how people, why people do it. Uh, it feels like more people are kind of doing it just, maybe not necessarily for the love of the character, but more kind of like, oh, that's fun. I want to get out there. I want my photo taken type of thing. More for like, hey, look at me reasons than necessarily like, I am really devoted to this character. I love it. And this is how I want to show my tribute to being a fan. So I've noticed that kind of different change. And I noticed that there's a lot more, it's more of a competition. Like everyone tries to be the best of the best of the best. Not so much like, oh my gosh, you are wearing like the same costume I'm wearing. That is so cool. Like that's, I remember when I first got into it, it was kind of like, as awesome that you're wearing the same costume I am, and now it's kind of like, you compare, and I, I don't like that really? aspect. Really? Yeah. What, what do you think happened? Well, what, when do you think this started shifting? Um, when it got more of a community online, I've noticed oh, that. The, you mean the social media and uh, social all media the forums and, like, and stuff? Social media and forums and stuff like that, when people were able to go online and, you know, anonymously or not anonymously start criticizing 
are saying this person's the best and you know and there's a lot more online competitions and there's there's just more competitions in general so everyone kind of gets that competition and there's there's more like people are getting sponsored now companies are sponsoring yeah. cosplayers which I never have seen like ever like the only time people made money from costumes if you made a costume and then sold it yeah. or you worked for a company and were like a professional costume person yeah. so it's kind of this and now like you hear all the time oh this company is now sponsoring me or you know i'm now the official spokesperson for this so that is a completely new aspect for me as well it's just kind of surprising i was kind of like it's for fun guys <laughs> what has changed since 2004 so much bigger. so many things so many things um the convention didn't sell out uh before people there didn't were, wait overnight i believe there were badges sold on site yeah no there one were. waited overnight there were. You, yeah there you could come in on saturday buy a badge and there would still be badges available you could like swing your elbows in the dealer's hall but, but. there was like half as much cosplay oh so have, there's more cosplay now there's so much more cosplay now okay there's so much more cosplay and it's gotten like this is like i think across the board it's gotten better but here in particular this is like people kind of treat this as like the olympics of cosplay sometimes i feel like especially in california anyway because this is it for a lot of people the exhibit hall will open again tomorrow at 9 30 a.m don't forget to check the programming schedule for <laughs>